Here's a real interesting hike in the San Gabriel Mountains to visit Bighorn Mine. This is an old abandoned gold mine that goes into the side of Mount Baden-Powell. In fact, the trailhead is at the same point as the trail that does go up to the top of Mount Baden-Powell. However, we're going to take a different trail, which leaves behind that, uh, that gate there and goes along the side of Mount Baden-Powell. And here is that road that wanders along the side hill. Actually, it was an old wagon trail that was used to get to the mine when it was first uh, started to operate. And then Dale gets us started down that road. Then we start getting a view uh, down, looking down at the east fork of the San Gabriel River. Then we can pan about a bit and uh, take a look at this, these beautiful San Gabriel Mountains. It continues to amaze me how the early explorers of these mountains found their way wandering around without having a trail to go on already made for them. We thank them very much. And Jack ambles his way along the trail. And then we reach a point where there's been a pretty good washout of this trail. This makes the, the travel a little bit trickier, but not too bad. Then the trail smooths out a bit again, making the travel quite easy. With some more pretty nice views of the mountains. Where Jack stops for a minute to admire the view. And while the trail continues to meander its way along the mountainside. With the continuing beautiful mountain views. Even with some wildflowers along the way to enhance the view. Some of this mountainside has a, a pretty rugged look to it, as you can see here. And then as we round a bend in the trail, suddenly the old mine begins to pop into view. And where Jack stops for a minute to pose in front of it. But to get up to the mine facility, we have to traverse this quite tricky part of the trail. Luckily, however, by having that pipe sticking out of the ground there to help haul us up, it wasn't that, that bad a voyage. And then once up to the mill house, we can look out and get a pretty nice view. But all of this doesn't quite get us up to the mine itself. When we get there, we have to traverse up this beautiful looking ladder. With this nice looking drop off along the side. And so Dale begins his climb up the ladder. As does Jack. You know, I have no idea why, why an 82 year old grandfather would want to spend time doing this kind of thing. I guess it's just because it's there. And then once up there, we find this entrance to the mine itself. And so we start our voyage into the mine, following the tracks that used to bring the ore out of the mine. And luckily, we actually brought a, a flashlight along to help us. 
Then after traveling a, a ways into the mine, we turned around and took a picture looking back towards the entrance. We also decided that this was just about as far as we wanted to go. But of course to get back, we had to go back down this beautiful looking ladder to get back to the trail. That bag that Dale was carrying contained some trash that he picked up that was left there with some unthinking hikers. And then it was back down the trail, past this pretty good sized boulder blocking the way. Deposited there from this quite rocky hillside. And so we end a very pleasant hike of roughly four miles with some beautiful scenery and a little bit different experience at the end looking around the mine the mine site. Unfortunately we didn't find any any gold, however. But we did find this hike well worth the effort. An interesting part of the San Gabriel Mountains.